Yo! What's up guys? The Ducks shoes are now available at DucksWaterfowl.com. Be sure to use code BOB at checkout to save yourself some money. Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. This is a uh, very special one. Come on. Look, he's a hot dog, I'm telling you. It's a decent day today, but uh, very hot still. Well, look at the camera, big dog. You just been laying inside. Look, he's like, it's way too hot out here, Dad. He's a thick skinned boy. He is. Very special video. Um, first off, I'm gonna get right to the business. I built this lodge. Some of you have been here. A lot have been here in the last two hunting seasons. And I built this place for people just like yourself right now that are watching to be able to come here and experience Central Kansas. And not only experience my hometown where I'm from, the hunting I grew up on, the fields I grew up on, the river systems I grew up on, the ponds, everything. My home, what I built, the channel for five years, everything to share it with y'all. And um, what has happened? is uh, as we all know I am not going to describe everything because it's just literally too much um, everything's went up everything has went up not only fuel grocery so tr travel grocery hotel stays anything any products that have to be shipped or freight right and uh, what it's done here is made it more expensive for people to come um, any small business I can guarantee you the last two years have had to increase their price and what I'm getting at it's at the price now to stay in here because this has to be at a certain price to operate that's just the way it is if you ever own a small business or if you already do you understand what I'm talking about Every business has an operating cost. Every business has a price that it requires to be able to run, okay? And a lot of people can't afford to come. So uh, when we kicked off this season, I was like, you know what? We're going to do lodging November through February. And then during some of those dates, I will offer hotel stays. So we can get that hunting price per person drove down, right? And you can still come hunt with me and I'll be on at least one of your hunts and then the other guides will guide the rest. But a lot, there, there has been no interest in hotel stays. And I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to stay in a darn hotel either. Not when you got all this. The parking lot's full. We got enclosed trailers everywhere during the season. Clients, our trucks and cars. <laughs> Bert's got the grill going. I mean, you can imagine what Bert cooks on this bad boy. Oh, she's heavily seasoned, y'all. Beautiful. And y'all have seen the inside of the lodge. I don't have to show you that again. What I'm getting to. The other day I was watering my pine trees out front. Minding my own business and some dude, if you're watching this, hey, just know, you helped me that day. I, everyone needs a good hater. It gives you motivation. He drove by, he flipped me off, gave me the bird as he went by. And it did, it pissed me off. I'm like, who is that? Who is that? Okay. And it made me so mad. So mad. Then I'm like, obviously it's probably a local person. I might know who it is. I don't know. But um, I didn't know their truck. Um, but what I'm getting at, it, it made me so mad that it gave me motivation to take that hotel theory that I was going to do that nobody is interested in and revamp it into a new idea that everyone is already loving. Like I said, I want everyone to be able to come here to Sand Hill. To come here, hunt with me, make a video, meet all the guys, eat Bert's food, meet my wife, my kids, experience what I've provided. And this is it. This is it. All right, so this is my shop. This is the lodge. 20 yards in between them. This is our big parking lot where we do all the business. Again, this is the shop. It is absolutely huge much bigger than the lodge you can tell all right there we got it uh the lodge is 40 by 50 
And my shop, where the guides stay, we always call it the guide shack, is 40 by like 65. Right there. It's huge. I got way too much room in this thing. Uh, room that I don't use, okay? So just gave me the motivation to be like, what can we do? What can we do? To get people here to, so they can afford to come, right? And they're on the property. Back in the year, um, I was discussing with my best buddy Wade, Gerald, all of us. I was like, what do we do? What do we do? And um, we were kicking around actually like putting like a little, those little like mobile cabins, you know, like that are at lakes, like the little cheesy cabin deals. That is a client calling. I'll be right back. Hello, this is Bobby. Hey, uh, Bobby, this is Thomas. I was calling about the dates on the hunts. Yes, absolutely. Are you uh, calling about the uh, the new shack? Are you calling about the lodge? or? Hey, I'm just looking to book a hunt. All right. Because I'm from down here in Tennessee, and we have, like, not hardly any birds. Gotcha. <laughs> no birds in Tennessee? <laughs> uh, well... You might get lucky if you get a drawn blind, but if you don't get a drawn blind, it's just, you're wasting your time pretty much. Dude, I have heard that from everybody from down that way. It is, um, I hear it all the time here when clients show up at the lodge from down your way. I have no idea where I left off describing everything to you guys, but we're just gonna get into it here. Alrighty, so first off, I know, I know, I know, I have not showed you guys the duck boat there's your sneak peek right there mm -hmm. I know I know you guys have been asking for it I've taken it out a bunch uh, I, I really have I've taken it out a lot but I have to be honest to you every time I've taken it out I've enjoyed it so much that I haven't filmed it it's just been me and the family on it us four us three or us two and um, take the old roll up we have a bunch of fun on it. She is an absolute beauty. I will show it to you a little bit more. Excuse the sticker on the side, but <laughs> this is a guide check. Um, some have seen it, some have not. This is where the guides reside all season. And in November, there's um, we're gonna be down two guys because they're gonna be in South Dakota, which is good. Well, I think we will do great um, without them during November. We really don't need them, but December, we definitely will. So, this is what I'm doing. Took me a long time to churn it up after that guy flipped me off. I'm not kidding you, but I knew I was going to do it. I knew it. Here we go. My original idea was to go from here over to that corner and basically upstairs in the bottom, extend it into this space, if you can imagine what I'm saying. This area through the door would actually become a hallway and you'd have a ceiling over you and then you'd have a door going in here. And this would be a big room and a big room, right? So these were going to be two additional rooms, top and bottom. And this is where I was going to put the clients and then keep the guides where they're at. So take a look at it. I, I got the wife out here. Any decision like this, you got to have the wife. So then my idea was, here's the stairs to Gerald's room, Aaron and Gerald's room. And about at this step or this step, make a big landing, cut the stairwell right here, and then you'd have a door that goes in to the big top room, right? I got the wife out here. Hey, her idea was much better than mine. She goes, that is a lot of lumber. That's gonna be a ton of money. I was like, yeah, and? She was like, she like thunk on it for two minutes. That's about it. While we were standing up here in Gerald's room and Aaron. So that's Aaron's bed, Gerald's bed. If we do what we're about to do, rest in peace, your big beds, boys. We are not gonna be able to fit them in the new room. So this is my idea and this room is absolutely huge california king king massive freaking room right and with the vents provided on the new i haven't showed a lot of you this i have a commercial size brand new 
digital thermostat. It's literally got everything you want on here. Let's just go ahead and kick on some cool real quick. It is 95 in here. It works really good. It is commercial. I'll go show it to you after I get done explaining this. I'll go show you the unit. It is massive. Big shout out to Scott Pennington. Fauna stock for hooking it up out of Wichita, Kansas. Awesome company. Go ahead and close that. So this is the idea. Instead of, and Beth was right, building all this and having all this lumber, she said, use this up here. I was like, what do you mean? So then she put down her idea and then me and Brad kind of revamped her idea. So at the bottom of the stairs, right here, first things first, all of my fridges on this side, they'll all go away. I'll put them somewhere else. And then all this for about 12 foot, uh, eight foot, yeah, eight foot, will be nothing but gun lockers, just like the lodge has. Benches, you can put on your boots, your waders, store your gun, ammo, blind bags, whatever, right? And then, I'm excited about it. And then all this will be gone. So this is a dryer to hang your waders and your bibs in or anything, and it dries stuff really good. We'll move it. Uh, we got the shelf, light, a microwave already. A brand new fridge is gonna go here. And then all right here, we'll do a big sectional, a big dinner table, all this other junk around here, my mower, my hanging topper, all that's gonna be, go away. My big tri-tune probably will stay because I have nowhere else to put it but it is way back out of the way. Right here, dinner table, big sectional, lazy boy, huge flat screen. So we can still have the UFC fights out here, everything we do in there, okay? And then you'll come up the stairs, there'll be a landing, a nice landing room, I wanna call it, with another bench, little landing, a little, little sconce, nice mood light. And then this door, you will go into a bathroom. So you'll have your own bathroom up here. This door, you will go into a bedroom that will have, I'm guessing two to three beds. And then this door that butts up beside the bathroom can fit anywhere from three to four beds easily. It is huge in here. It's a massive room. I know, I know, Gerald, Aaron, I'm sorry. But we got to do what we got to do to survive and keep all of our help. And what I mean by keep, everything has gotten so expensive. I've been scared that we we're going to have to reduce help. And I was, after that guy flipped me off, I'm like, no, are we have the best team? I'll be darned if we go down. I'll be darned if my business goes down. No way. We go, we do this. I don't care how expensive stuff is. We compromise and we innovate. I've done it before, I've done it enough. I'll keep doing it. I win, I'm telling you. Haters are the best thing that a guy could have sometimes. So this is gonna be very accommodating to a group of six. So even if you have two or three, perfect. You guys will have your own room and a bathroom up here. If you have six or seven, perfect. You're gonna have two rooms so you guys can split up with your own bathroom. Now, downstairs, you can use the downstairs bathroom as well. So the cool thing about this deal is the package, three meals a day, three days of hunting, full lodging, bird processing, bird tagging, all that. Your birds are federal legal to go across state lines. That's to protect myself and you guys. Uh, but you'll have access to washer dryer. There's a sink down here. And there's another bathroom down here. So two baths, this will all be renovated. Everything will be done. It won't look that much different than the actual lodge. I'm telling you right now, but I tried to create something that more people could afford because I want you guys here. You guys deserve to be here. I keep hearing, oh man, that's just a little too high. And it's a father son from Louisiana. And he was gonna surprise his son with this for his graduation gift or his birthday present or his Christmas present. We've already had a ton of those over the last two years. I don't want to ruin that, 
They deserve to come. You guys deserve to be here. I'm serious. So if you're interested in this package, it is not going to be um, every single day, every three days. We have select dates that we're doing this, uh, where we are able to handle it. So if you're interested, Sand Hill Flyaways, the website is down below. Click the link. It'll take you to, uh, if it doesn't take you to, it'll take you to the website. Go to the inquire to book form. Fill it out. Say, we want to be in the duck shack. If I see that, I'm going to be getting hold of you. Beth will be reaching out to you. We want you all here. I am extremely proud of the service that we provide here at Sand Hill Flyway. I am very proud of the team that we are. I am very proud to have the team that I have. I am very proud of every one of the guys that is part of this team. We have the best team in Kansas. I have no doubt about it. And to think that the only option would be to go down, it can't exist. It cannot exist. Because if it exists, that means I'm allowing it. Oh no, 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 no. Also, just want to let you guys know, we do have very few December dates left for the lodge, but we have December dates available for the shack. So, everyone that I've already talked to, um, you're going to get a cheaper hunt back here. Basically, everything the same. You're just not going to be staying in the lodge. Um, it'll be awesome. It'll be a lot of fun um, having its own area back here. Uh, you guys will have everything you need, and I'll be going back and forth, talking and gabbing with everybody. You'll be here with all the guides, everyone. It's, it'll, it'll be awesome. Also, I still am doing discounted hunts in November, guys, okay? Um, if you have eight or more, if you have 10, I will do you a deal that I've done other guys now. I will do you a deal that you will not be able to say no to, and I mean that. This year, with all the water, this is the most water we've had in five years. November will be amazing. Spec hunting, duck hunting, lesser hunting. It's going to be good. Again, fill out the inquire to book form. It is down in the description, the Sand Hill link. Book with me at Sand Hill Flyways. Click on it. Fill out the form. I will be getting a hold of you. Please, serious inquires only. Um, please, serious inquires only. I am very busy with this. It takes up a lot of my time, which I love, but serious inquires only. Subscribe if you haven't. It. It's about to be an amazing hunting season. But until next time. Back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it